Welcome back to Auto Salvage Outlaws. Well, we got up and messed around the house this morning and just messing around and got ready to go to town and freaking cold out here and figured we'd run to town and grab something to eat and do a few things while we was in town and I guess you see, got the battery charger hooked up. Got the key in the switch to turn it over. Nothing. So, I guess it's time to buy a battery. Bad thing about these are, you gotta take all that off. Which is a big pain. I don't know why the engineers at Ford Motor Company and other car companies decides to put batteries well, you can't get to them. It'll take you so long to take the thing off and you get near about to build a car. Been charging about 30 minutes. I guess I'll see if we can start this thing up. Let's see. Nope. Still nothing. Huh. It's almost sad. I always act like the battery cable's loose, but of course, I moved them, huh? but they don't move. And the back one's a mug to get to. Here we go. We'll see what we can do. Well, got up yesterday morning and there's a horse in the room. Wow. <laughs> got up yesterday morning and it was freaking cold outside. We went to go to town and the, and the uh, wife's SUV went crazy. Back out there with my charger, and uh, back out there and put my charger on it, and the battery is no dead, no good. It's dead or doornail. So here we are. <laughs> now, how I wanted to start my Sunday morning, uh, heading over here, and, and it took me about. 35 minutes to get the freaking battery out because the way it's made, you have to take the old towel off and you have to take the uh, windshield wipers off. Uh, I'll do a video on them, put them back together. And I was just trying to hurry and get it out. So here we are, I'm getting to, I guess, Wally World. I just go ahead and buy one here instead of driving an hour to get a discount on one. I guess it's just cheapest just to drive this old four down here to Walmart and buy one. Uh, it's, it's a cold morning this morning. You're on the nippy side. I will uh, catch back up in a few minutes. Hey, I'm back. I figured I'd give y'all another shot of this pretty little Ford here. If you notice the paint, it's not rust, it's just surface rust. And plus, it's cracked up. Needs to be repainted. Got one little dent in the grill. Same way with the door. It's all it's not rust rust, it's just surface rust. 
does have a little bit of rust in it, but I still got my junk in the back. Right here by the tail light, he says a little dent there. Got a little bit of rust on the on the uh, tailgate. That was caused by feed for the guy's farm that brought this truck new. So I got all the paperwork on it. You got one little dent. I don't know if you can see it. I can hardly see it. The sun's in my eyes. One little pink dent there. Hey, good paint job, so truck will look good. Plus, it's got four brand new tires on it. Of course, there's a front tire. It's brand new. I had to shut it off to pop this hood. They don't pop that easy. The other one kind of on the heavy side. Hard to do it one hand. As far as I, I know, is this carburetor has probably been changed out. Either that or rebuilt it at some point. I put the plug wires on it. Did have the original plug wires on it. That belt's on it. Of course, a new master cylinder, two new calipers, brake pads on the front. Of course, a little vacuum line in it hooked back up. Guess I need to put that back on there. Or it might have been an extra one I replaced. I do believe. Yeah, that's the one I replaced. Now, the good, the bad, the ugly. We'll need the dash pad fixed or replaced. And plus the windshield. The headliners, still in good shape. It needs a, a, a lens in the, in the light. The seat will need to be recovered. All the mats in real good shape. This floor pan here will have to be replaced. It's got a bad spot here. That's the only bad spot in the floor is right here. Yeah, it's dirty because we we bought it and I started we started moving with it and I ain't done nothing with it. Like I was saying, the paint, see how the paint is. As you can tell, it's, it's not rust, it's just worse. Uh, it's been on there so long. I was told uh, the guy that brought this new, his son put house paint on it, but don't know because I've seen a bunch of older model fours do the same thing. So. I really don't know about that. And there was one little dent somewhere. I can't even see it now, but there was a little bitty bad spot there. And all this is just surface rust here. It's nothing major. Nothing major there. Got I locked it up. <coughs> hey. And it's got some rust here, which 
be too bad to fix. If you know what you're doing, it's not that bad to cut that out and weld another piece in there. That's the only major rust in it. And front, you can't see because I got my stuff in here. But below there, it's got a little bit of rust in the front floor. And, and on the back of the floor where he hauled uh, feed in it. As far as the driver's side floor pan, it's a little weak here a little bit. So I'd say put two floor pans in or two pieces. But all the door panels is, is good except for the little plastic it needs to be changed. The uh, piece of plastic here needs to be changed out. But the sun visors, they look good. The dash and all is good. And as far as I know, everything works on it except for the fuel gauge. So it's going to have to have a senior unit put in. Uh, the radio does come on, uh, but I believe it needs the speakers wired up because of that right there. The radio will probably work and the cb comes on but i believe if you wired a, speaker, a set of speakers to it that probably work and that is a factory cb radio now I get over here to the i think i showed the the uh engine but that's a 400 Ford not to be confused with the 351 the uh, 400 was a, a Ford built engine it was not a Cleveland like everybody says that a 400 is 400 is not a Cle uh, Cleveland it's a Ford built engine does have air conditioner on it I have not tried it I imagine it probably needs some Freon in it, probably a silk kit. And I imagine the air conditioner worked then. As you can tell, it's not been cut up. It's not been dog hide. It hasn't been out in the, in the woods and, and rogged out. I'll have to shut that before I leave. If you see all that, that's all factory. It's not been, I don't even think it's ever been in four wheel drive, to be honest, because I put it in four wheel drive when we first got it, and then, man, it went in there like butter, no noise, no nothing. Four wheel drive works good on it. Like I said, stated otherwise, I put uh, calipers, brakes, shoes, mass cylinder on it. You see, it's not rust rust, it's just surface rust. You open this door. Oh, and the door locks does work on it. It's pretty rare on these old boards for the same key to work the door. Most of them, the locks don't work. As far as I can tell up through here, the surface rust, get a little bit over here. Like I say, that's that's pretty easy to fix. The door panel's good on this side. Dash needs to be cleaned. It's dirty because we've been moving moving with it, so it's it's dirty. And this needs to be good cleaning. Needs some new strikers on it. You can tell it's a pretty decent little truck. It's not not been ragged out. So it has all the factory suspension on it. The uh, window seals on the doors, of course, they you know they're gonna be dry rotted. They need to be replaced. As far as going down the road, it drives good, rides good. Uh, the only noise I get 
It's through this little bent window. It's got a whistling. And you go down the road. As far as any dings, uh, any of that rides and drives like a new truck. Uh, it is for sale. Uh, I'm not going to give this truck away. Uh, simple fact that I do know the truck. I knew the truck before I before I got it. Uh, we'll need a headlight. Uh, parted at my brother-in-law's house and and don't know if it got busted there or to drive back to the house. Well, not when we came back to the house. I don't really know how how it got busted, but we don't need that. There's on the driver's side. Overall, decent little truck. It's hard to find these like this. If you find one with no rust, you're going to show sure enough pay the money. But for what little bit of rust it does have, it's nothing major. And as you see real good, the truck sits up good. I'm not real good. But like I say it's it's gonna be leaving if if I can't get what I want out of it, then I'll Fix a little bit of rust is in it, put two four pans in it, and uh, paint it, and I'll keep it. As I, I don't have to sell it, uh, but if I did, then that's when I have to get out of it. If not, then I'll, I'll just keep it. Now, somebody said that this back window has been changed out since it's new. Uh, I don't believe so. I believe it was ordered with the window. Uh, I don't think it could have. I don't really know. I was looking at the window. I see the... barely see it. But I believe it was ordered like that. I'm not sure. But either way, that's, uh, there it is, you know. So, I'll end it here, and I'll catch you on the next one.